Now, the reason why these fireworks are strange is because they're a lot different than what you normally think of when you think of fireworks. Because this doesn't really look like a strange firework at first, but take a look at this thing here on the side. I have no clue what that is gonna do. You're not gonna believe how you light this off. I'm pretty sure this was not made for America. What if I told you that this 500 gram cake firework doesn't make a single noise? What the heck is this thing gonna do? It spins. And we are just going to have the time of our lives lighting these things off. All right, guys. Well, these fireworks are extremely strange. And this is, I think, the third part to an annual video that I try to do for you guys every year featuring strange fireworks. Now, the reason why these fireworks are strange is because they're a lot different than what you normally think of when you think of fireworks. For example, have you ever seen crackling balls this big? And how about a firework fountain that looks like a fire hydrant? So there's something about each and every one of these fireworks that sets them apart from things you normally find at a fireworks store on the 4th of July. Now I've been making videos on strange or weird fireworks for several years now on YouTube. And unfortunately with that comes a lot of copycats and fakes. There's a lot of people on YouTube right now making strange fireworks videos. And I just wanted to let you guys know that if you do not see this logo go as the person who uploaded it. It is not officially a part of this series. I personally hand pick and select these fireworks throughout the entire year at all the different fireworks stores I go to. And even if I'm ordering fireworks online, this is all for this one video that we do once a year. So I spend a lot of time and money on this single video and I would really appreciate it if you guys left a like on the video. So guys, that's just a friendly reminder to always be original with the type of content you're putting on YouTube. And with all that out of the way, we can now start looking at our strange fireworks for 2023. So remember, I started picking these fireworks out the day after we did the strange fireworks video last year. And I guess we're just gonna start down here on the left and work our way down to the right. So right here we have a 96 shot firework called Ride My Rocket. Now this one is strange because wait until you see how it's made. All right, so we open it up and as you can see, there's this gold foil on top, but wait until you see what's under that. So we're gonna peel back the gold foil and as you can see, this is a plastic firework. Very unusual. Now this one here, the reason I picked it out, if you couldn't already tell, it is probably the smallest firework cake of all time. This is Six Shots Happy Fireworks by Shogun. Now these ones here, I featured in one of my collection videos as well as the old fireworks video. And this is a Zenith Specialty Aerial Spinner called Cyclone Plane. But what makes it strange is it's made in the USA. And as you guys know, I don't think they make fireworks in the USA anymore. Then we got a pack of these plastic chickens here called Blazing Farm Animals by World Class Fireworks. The reason I got them is because usually you do not see plastic chickens. They are normally cardboard. Now these three items I wanted to show you at the same time. So as you can see, we've got giant crackling balls, nothing new, okay. But then we've got super jumbo crackling balls. And over here we have triple shock crackling balls. So I don't know if this is a three stage crackle or what, but I cannot wait to see the difference between all three of these. And how could we ever do a firework video without featuring sparklers? As you guys know, snakes and sparklers are the only ones I like. So I've got three different packs of really weird sparklers. We're gonna show you why they're weird. So these four sparklers come out of the Hanabi pack here by Wind of Fireworks. And as you can see, you know, you get four sparklers, but they last 55 seconds. And these ones here are called the Tooth Fairy by Brothers Pyrotechnics. This is what they look like. And as you can see, not only do you get a sparkler, but you get a glow stick that actually comes off when the firework is done and you can keep that. And you don't just have to have the glow stick, they actually come with connectors so that you can make a bracelet out of this thing. So we'll just demonstrate that for you. This is very unique. You don't really see sparklers set up like that. And these ones by Fire Factory brand are kind of like the same thing. And so you also get a sparkler with a glow stick at the bottom. Now this one here is called Freedom's Wings by Wind of Fireworks. And you're not gonna believe how you light this off. This is actually what it looks like outside of the package. And so you hold it here by the the stick on the end just like that and I really don't know what it's gonna do but I can't wait to see it and right here we've got the emoji spinners you get four of them in a pack and they're by Firehawk fireworks this next one here is just a disc and that's all it is no I'm kidding the firework that was on this thing actually fell off and it's right here so this is like a plastic American Eagle firework as you can see he's holding something there in his hand 
I'm not sure what that's gonna do, but I also cannot wait to see this one. And we've all seen the classic smoke balls, but have you ever seen the mega ones? Now I know you guys might be judging this next one based on its size, but make no mistake, this is a super unique firework. You're not even gonna believe what these things look like. So inside of that box, you get this little plastic holder with some stuff rolled up in foil. And then if you unwrap all the foil, you will see these little red and green sticks. Now, I have much better luck when I light these with a torch or a lighter, but what you can do is you can actually put these down on the concrete and just run your foot over them like this, and they take off like a little crackling rocket. They are a ton of fun. Now you guys may remember this one from a recent video I did at a fireworks store called Red Dragon Fireworks. I had to pick one of these up for the Strange Fireworks video. In fact, I think I even made a comment about how I was gonna do that in the video, but this is called Smokey Joe's Cabin, and it's by Grand Patriot Brand Fireworks, and I think smoke comes out of there. What a cool little firework. These things right here are pretty unique because for 99 cents a pack, you can get yourself six single shot crackling tubes. And I don't know, I grew up with these things, except when I used to buy them, they were called Electric Eel by Phantom Fireworks. These are definitely a lot of fun. And this one here is called the Poor Man's Assortment. This is for those of you who just wanna spend 75 cents on a little pack of fireworks and don't wanna make the neighbors upset. So you can get yourself one there by Shockwave Fireworks. It comes with two firecrackers, two ground blooms, and a little pack of firecrackers there in the middle. Now, the reason why this next firework is strange is because I'm pretty sure this was not made for America. As you can see, usually there's like some Chinese writing, but this is definitely not Chinese, and I have no idea where this firework is from, but it is definitely not made for the US. Now, I just had to pick up this night bomber, and I actually didn't get one, I got two of them. The other one's right there. And we do have a little launch pad that we're gonna use for these. Now, I've always said that growing up, I would love to see a plain firework that actually flies up into the air. You know, the ones that have wheels on them and they go like this and sometimes they go back, but I've always thought it'd be awesome if they went up in the air. Well, this one does. But what's weird about it is I don't think it takes off like an actual plane. I think it spins around and flies up in the air like that. Should these have been in the shape of a helicopter? Probably. And then look at how weird this firework fountain is. It's just called the Mug by DFS. And I think that stands for Discount Fireworks out of California. And it's just a really weird looking fountain. And speaking of weird looking fountains, we just so happen to have seven more of them. So you get a four pack there and then we got these three over here. So starting with this one, it's called the Fun House. I believe this firework actually opens up and it spins around obviously, but I don't know what it's gonna do. I've never seen it in person. This one here by Red Lantern Fireworks, the only reason that I got this, because this doesn't really look like a strange firework at first, but take a look at this thing here on the side. I have no clue what that is gonna do. And then there's also this thing that wraps around that looks like a fuse. And I'm really just not sure what it's gonna look like. So we're gonna be featuring this in the video as well. And then we got the biggest contradiction in the entire firework industry. This one is called the Fire Hydrant Fountain, but because it's a firework, isn't that kind of funny? So had to pick it up for the Strange Fireworks video. And now I think last year we did the world's highest fountain, but this year I went with the world's strongest fountain. So what do they mean by that? I have no idea. There better be a ton of loud crackle and whistle in that thing. Then we got this little two pack of fireworks here called Ricochet Whistling Flyer by Shogun Fireworks. And I had to get it because the Captain America shield is on the front and the only other time I've seen that, the firework was really cool. So I'm hoping these are also just as awesome. And we do actually have another firework fountain and this one I also picked up from Red Dragon Fireworks. This is called Photo Finish, but just take a look at this thing. So it's definitely irregular for a firework fountain to be fused on the top like this. I have no idea if they all go at the same time, but it does say face this side towards the spectators for a panoramic effect. So now I'm wondering, do they all go off at once? And now we're gonna move on to some of the cakes. So starting over here, we have a 50 shot cake called Pulse Pounder by Wind of Fireworks. This thing is loaded with 50 shots of legal salutes. Yes, that is correct. You can actually get salutes on the consumer market now. They just make them a little differently than they do when they make them for the 1-3 market. And this one here is called a Million Lightning Bugs, 300 shots with crackling tail. 
pails. But it's kind of unusual for Saturn missile batteries to do anything other than whistle to report. So the fact that we have a crackling tail can't wait to see it. Now last year we did a firework fountain that makes no noise, but what if I told you that this 500 gram cake firework doesn't make a single noise? You probably wouldn't even believe me if I told you that because usually when you think of fireworks that go up in the air, you think really loud breaks, but this thing is actually a silent 500 gram cake totally safe for your own backyard. Now this one here is actually huge. I'll put my hand there in the middle so you guys can get a reference. This is by Fire Factory. It's called Neon 750. So we have 750 shots of Saturn missile batteries. Now usually when you see these things, they are literally the size of this table. So the fact that we have a mini one makes it strange. Now this firework here I picked up in South Dakota at Old Glory Fireworks. It's called Gone Wild. And there was no way I was leaving that store without getting this 500 gram cake because just look at it it looks freaking awesome i've got no idea what it's going to do so i cannot wait to see this now these two 500 gram cakes actually connect together just like the 200 gram cakes that we did in the last strange fireworks video and if i can do this for you while holding the camera as you can see they just go together like that and then you only have to light one fuse and you can do this as many times as you want so if you wanted to line them up way out there you'd have an entire fireworks show off of just one fuse. Now I know that this is the one you all wanted to see. It even comes with a freaking handle. So this is called the Gatling Gun by Brothers Pyrotechnics. We are going to be safe about it in this video and just light it in the ground. Do not, under any circumstances, hold fireworks in your hand because as you can see right there on the warning label, it says do not hold in hand. But I mean, just look at this thing, guys. So yeah, we totally had to pick this up for the video. Now I saved this one for last. It's called Tracer Rounds by Flashing fireworks 80 shots i believe that this has go-getters in it however the last time i lit off a barrage roman candle that i thought had go-getters it ended up not having them so i wouldn't be surprised if this is like a crackling one but i'm really hoping we get those awesome go-getters inside this roman candle and just so you guys know, go-getters are the fireworks that go up in the air and then they kind of scramble around, but they're colorful. And ladies and gentlemen, this is our enormous lineup of strange fireworks this year. We are going to have a blast lighting these things off. I got a couple of them over there. I'm gonna get all these things set up and then we're gonna start lighting them one at a time. Well, as you guys can see, we have all of our strange fireworks set up and now we're just waiting for the sun to go down. However, we do have a few items in the lineup that are meant to be lit off during the daylight. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. All right, guys, well, we just have a sliver of daylight left and that means we have got to get going on our daytime fireworks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with one of these sliders. Now, remember, you can run your shoe over that and it'll take off like a little crack rocket but I found that I have much better luck when I light them so here goes one of them Still down there, I think it got stuck in the rocks. Here goes the rest of them. This is way more entertaining. It's like little pop rocks. Let's see, is one of them gonna take off? Whoa, it took off. 10 out of 10. Now let's go ahead and see these plastic chickens. Not sure what these are gonna do. Oh, okay, that's kinda cool. Whoa, it spins around. That one didn't. Now let's try out one of the emoji spinners. So take a look, this is the shocked face. Oh, it's going onto the gravel. That means it's not gonna spin anymore. And as you can see, blue smoke at the end. Okay, hopefully at least one of these things actually stays on the board so we can see it spin all the way. And unfortunately, that's not gonna happen. But look at the smoke, purple and blue. Look at that. Okay, moving on, we've got our poor man's assortment. We're gonna go ahead and start with the ground blooms. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that. They don't even care about the gravel. And the two firecrackers. Nice. And now the full pack of firecrackers. 
Not bad for the poor man's assortment. Next up, we've just got to see the Smoky Joe's cabin. I think that top part is going to smoke like a chimney. Oh, it's a fountain. Didn't know that. Missed opportunity to have smoke coming out of the chimney. Okay, either way, that was pretty freaking cool. I just wish I would have known it was a fountain so we could have done it at night. Now let's take a look at our two extra large smoke balls. I think the wind is gonna take them though. Oh, it might mix colors. That'd be pretty cool. So you got red and yellow, check it out. Look at that. Oh, they're mixing. That is cool. Oh, look at that smoke. Super vibrant. Wow. Look at the plumage. Look at it from here all the way over there. And they're still going. That's insane. Still going too. These are the little smoke balls that could. Look at that. Now we're gonna do our extra large crackling ball comparison, starting over here with the giant crackling ball by Sunwing Fireworks. All right, this is the little green one. Here goes the last two little green ones. Nothing little about it. And for comparison, let's test out the Super Jumbo ones by Supreme Fireworks. We've only got two of these. Can't wait to see what this does. It's like three times the size. Whoa, okay. Well, about the same. And we got one more of those. Okay, a little bit better. And last but not least in our comparison, we've got the Triple Shock Crackling Balls. Are they gonna be three stage? Let's find out. All right, so we'll go ahead and start with one, just like the rest. Nope, not- Whoa, they are! Look at that! Okay, these are the best crackling balls that money can buy. I have never seen a three-stage crackling ball. Look at this. Wow! And just look at these little single shots here by Showtime Fireworks. They are small but mighty. Here goes the first one. Here goes six of them. Nice. Now I'm not sure if this is a daytime firework or not, but either way, we're gonna light it off. This is the Cyclone plane made in the USA. I think it's pretty old too, so we'll see. Sweet. We're gonna go ahead and do another one of those. Whoa! Now let's see the little Captain America shield ricochet aerial spinner. This is gonna be loud. Whoa! I wish it blew up at the end. I am dying to see this little fighter jet here by Wind of Fireworks. Whoa! And we've only got one of these aerial spinners left and it happens to be another ricochet. Here we go, gonna be loud. Love it. Now this cake right here is actually a daytime firework as well. We've got 50 shots of salutes. This is gonna be all noise.
Yes, some of them are much louder than the other ones, but not bad for some legal salutes. And guys, the rest of our fireworks that we have in the lineup are for the nighttime, so we're just gonna wait a little bit longer until the sun goes down and shoot them off. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and try out the Freedom Wings before we lose daylight because I'm just dying to see what this thing does. All right, here we go. Okay, this is cool. <laughs> Look at that. With the wind, you can't really see the one on the left, but this is really cool. Look at that Freedom Eagle. Oh, it's like flapping a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't like the wind. 11 out of 10. All right, guys, so this is the Hanabi sparkler, which I thought goes down and then goes back up, but actually this is all it does. And so I wanted to get this out of the way so you guys don't have to watch this for two minutes straight. And believe it or not, the glow stick sparklers are much, much cooler. So as you can see, it is way brighter than the one we just lit off. And unfortunately, these things aren't really gonna glow until it's dark out, but we don't have time for that. We got more fireworks to set off. Well guys, call me crazy, but I think it's dark enough to at least start enjoying our fountains one at a time. So that's what we're gonna do, starting down here with the big old American Eagle. I'm really curious to see what this does, because he's holding something. Oh, it's red smoke, okay. So this was a daytime firework. Red, white, okay. Is it gonna be blue at the end? Yeah, look at that. I don't know what's going on here. Whoa! Look at that! Right out of his mouth! It's a blue flare. Nice, okay, this is cool. Oh, wow. It was like shooting stuff out there for a minute. Definitely a unique fountain. Now, ever since I saw these on the shelf, I have been dying to see what they do because this little thing down here, I've got no idea what that is, but it looks like this fuse or whatever leads to that. So let's go ahead and start with one of them. Really excited for this one. All right, so take a look. That thing around the fountain is moving. So it's not a fuse, it's like another little fountain thing. Hopefully you guys can see that. It's definitely moving, here it comes around. What is that thing at the bottom gonna do though? What is this? Whoa! All right, so it's like a four stage whistle. Here goes the last three. Honestly, I was hoping that little thing at the bottom would shoot up in the air, but you win some, you lose some. Ooh, this is way cooler. Look at that. You can really see those things moving around the fountain. Here comes a bunch of whistle. Yep, that's loud. Okay, this thing here spins around and it is just way too cool. I cannot wait to see it in action. This is the Fun House by Fire Factory. Let's see what it does. I think it's actually gonna open up. Okay, please spin. There we go. It's spinning. Oh my God. Does it open up though? That's what I want to see. Oh my God, it's like a portal in the ground. I don't think it's over. It's not over. Okay. It's like a fountain. Man, I really thought that was gonna open up. That's too bad.
Whoa, what was that? What's going on here? It opened up! It opened up! <laughs> Look at that. So glad I got that one. Okay, I don't know how we're gonna top that last one, but this next one here is called the Fire Hydrant Fountain. Here we go. Whoa, quick fuse gone. That was bizarre. All right, it's not gonna spin though, but it's shooting out of both sides. Okay, here goes the one on the top, finally. Wow, look at that. Holy crap. Now that's a nice fountain. Now this one here is called the world's strongest fountain. So why is it the strongest? We're about to find out. Does it just last really long? I guess we'll see. See, that's not very strong. I don't know if that's the wind doing that, but something's going off on the ground over there. Holy crap, it's going like 20 feet in the air. I hope you guys could tell on video. This next one here called the Mug by DFS, I think is gonna be a little bit underwhelming after that monster of a fountain, but here goes the Mug. California safe and sane. Yep, definitely a California fountain. I would like to think that I saved the best fountain for last here. This is the Photo Finish by Hot Brand Fireworks. And it's just the biggest one in the lineup, but I don't know, it's gotta compete with the one that spun around and opened up at the end. So let's see if it can beat it. Really hoping this is a good one. Okay, it's got really nice height. Oh, it's flashing like a photo. Okay, that's kinda cool. Really bright. Man, that thing's got height. It's going up like 10, 15 feet. Whoa, something crazy is gonna happen. Oh my God, look at this. <laughs> I was wondering if it was gonna do this. I just thought it was gonna do it sooner. Oh my God, look at that. It's lighting up the whole gravel pit. Wow!
That was definitely the best fountain in the lineup. Well guys, it is a wee bit darker out now, so we're gonna start enjoying our fireworks that go up into the air. Starting with the smallest 200 gram cake of all time, it's more like a 50 gram cake. This is the Happy Fireworks Six Shots by Shogun Fireworks. So I put some gravel around the sides because these smaller cakes love to tip over. But let's just hope it doesn't. So as you can see, that's all it does. And that right there, folks, is the smallest cake of all time. And now that we've seen the smallest firework cake of all time, I think it's time we see the quietest firework cake of all time. So this 500 gram firework cake supposedly makes zero noise, besides the lift. <laughs> okay, it does actually make some noise, but still, you can see what they're going for. Okay, this is actually really cool. Wow, look at that. So for those of you who don't know, those are actually called horsetails. And now we have our two Roman candles. We're gonna go ahead and start with this one here, which is called Tracer Rounds, and I believe this is the one with go-getters. If it has go-getters, you guys are not gonna believe this. Oh, it does kind of, yeah, look at this. So they're gonna fly around. The wind is definitely taking them though. Yep, that is one of the most unique firework effects of all time. And actually, it's cool that the wind took them because when we got here, the wind was coming straight at us, but now it's going that way. And I think it has something to do with that major storm off in the distance. And I know that this is the one you're all dying to see. This is the Gatlin gun by Brothers Pyrotechnics. Here we go. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> like a wall of fireworks. I will say I love the sound that makes coming out of the firework. And moving on, we have our plastic molded firework called Ride My Rocket 96 Shots. I've got no idea what this is gonna do. It looks like it alternates between large tubes and small ones. Here we go. Whoa. So it's basically like a Roman candle cake. Man, there's so much crackle, I don't know where to point the camera. Whoa, some of those things go way up there. little finale at the end. And moving on, we have our 200 gram cake that is not made for the USA. I can't wait to see what this one does. I think this one is called Orloff. That's what it says on the box. Oh, nice breaks. I wasn't expecting this. Wow. That was surprisingly impressive. And moving on, we got the 300 shot missile battery. Take a look at that thing. This is by Great Grizzly, and it's called A Million Lightning Bugs. Supposedly, this has crackling Saturn missile batteries. Oh yeah, look at that.
I hope they don't do all 300 one at a time. Oh no, I think they're gonna. No. Picked up the pace a little bit. Guys, do me a favor and do not light this one off on the 4th of July in a populated neighborhood. Now that one lasted a really long time and now we have a 750 shot version of it. Uh, hopefully this goes a lot quicker. Let's find out. Oh, that's cool. Come on, pick up the pace. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Whoa. God. Oh my God. Okay, I think it's over. Man, I tell you what, if you guys wanna make an absolute racket on the 4th of July, you should check out this Neon 750 by Fire Factory. Okay, after all that whistle, I'm ready for some firework breaks, starting with Gone Wild here. Just look at how nuts that cake looks. Here we go. Whoa! And ladies and gentlemen, it has been an absolute blast doing this video for you that I do every single year. And this is our grand finale. We've got both of the connector 500 gram cakes set up. This is Angry Gorilla, 34 shots, and they connect together right there. So this is not one, but two 500 gram cakes and we don't have to light the other one. Big breaks. OK, 
Okay, I like that a lot. Whoa! Look at those willows. All right, it just lit off the second cake. Here we go. <laughs> Whoa. Man, look at that willow. And yeah, it's gonna do this little fountain thing here at the end, but that is actually it for the two 500 gram cakes. Now it does that fountain because that would be what would light off the other cake if you set a third one up. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed my annual strange fireworks video. These things I collect throughout the entire year. So starting tomorrow, I'm going to start looking for more strange fireworks for next year's video. And that's what I've been doing every year for the past like three years. And guys, if this is your first time stopping by the channel, I know we're super close to the 4th of July. So probably there's some new viewers here. Be sure to check out all the links that I put in the description of all of my videos and make sure to become a member because we post exclusive behind the scenes content over there. And with that, we will see you next time.